Okay. So in this introductory number one, okay, we will uh, see what is planning. So the first thing is what is planning. Planning is a sequence of action that will be achieved by that will be used to achieve a goal, a certain goal. So we plan to get some goal. So the sequence of actions are done to get the goal. So a sequence of action will lead us towards the goal. So second kind of sequence is called planning. That's all. The planning agent is used in such kind of situation. So the first one is uh, like this one, planning agents. Okay? The search basic problem. Uh, there's example that we are planning for a problem which is related to the search. So this is example. So search based problem. So uh, problem solving, okay, agent. This is one kind of planning agent, okay. Another can be a logical planning agent. Okay? So there are many examples of the agents, planning agents, like uh, search based problem solving agents or logical planning agents. And there are certain environments okay, where such kind of agent will work. So environments that are fully observable, okay, deterministic, finite, okay, static, and discrete. Okay? Well, so we study all of them, remember? In the chapter two and three. Okay? So these are called classical okay, planning environment. So environment This one, okay. Classical because it is just recent. That's why it is called classical. It's not quantum or modern planning. Okay? So it is just useful classical planning environment. So every time the planning agents work under these environments. That's all. So uh, okay. Uh, there's also a reference to the chapter two. Uh, as I told you, we discuss all these things in chapter two. That's all. So, okay, the next thing is uh, the classical planning environment. Okay? For example, the first environment is fully observable. So, if an agent senses, they give it access to the complete state of environment. Okay? Remember the keyword complete state of environment at each and every point in time. Then we say uh, the task environment is fully observable. So, fully observable means uh, if an agent senses, the agents that we get access to the complete set of environment, the state of environment. Okay. So if an agent okay, uh, are aware of, if an agent is aware of, or if the agent got all the information related to the environment, okay, uh, in terms of complete set, uh, complete state. Okay. So uh, for each and every point, okay, let's say this is an environment. And the agent is here, yes. And uh, this agent is intelligent, surely, and it is getting all the information about the agent, uh, about the environment. Okay. Um, for each and every point, okay, for each and every point inside this environment. So, such kind of okay, uh, environment is called fully observable. And we studied it before in chapter two, right? Uh, deterministic one is. Okay, if the next state of the environment is completely determined, okay? so if the next state of the environment is completely determined, observed, or calculated, computed by the existing state, current state, then okay, and the actions okay, are executed by those okay, uh, observations, okay? then we say the environment is deterministic. That's all. The next one is the stat static environment. Okay. So the environment, okay, if the environment is not changing with time, okay, while an agent is thinking about deliberating, okay. So uh, in such situation, okay, it is static. The static environments are easy to deal with okay, because it is not changing. So uh, we can easily see all the observed data. Information, my remark, okay, uh, information, observation, uh, instantly, and we can uh, deal with such kind of data very easily. Okay. So, this is the difference, uh, isn't it? Static one.
Uh, okay, the same thing is here. Agent need not keep looking always. Okay, with time that what is going on, how the data is changing, all these things. Okay, so this is all about this one. Uh, and it will do action instantly okay, by deciding because we have done the information, observations, and then we can do action. Uh, action done by the agent. So uh, this is an example. Crossword, crossword. So every time we know all the information and we can move to the next step by getting all the information of the current state. Okay, so uh, this is all about okay, uh, the static. The discrete one is different. So uh, the way okay, time is handled, the way time is handled and to the perception and action to the agents. Okay? So discrete is the is environment in which the way it is a way okay? this is a method uh, where time okay, uh, is handled the way time is handled and uh, also uh, the perception the observation and actions are done accordingly so for example uh, the chess okay, game environment we have okay uh, predetermined okay, uh, observations okay? means we have the current situation and we can see later on the rest of the situation okay so this is the main thing in this kind of okay, discrete environment uh, also okay uh, so it uh, in the chess okay for example it has a discrete okay, different set of okay, perception observation and the action by the agent itself the same thing now we will see uh, the language of the, of the planning okay so the language of planning problems okay so uh, if we plan something we need to communicate with the agent with the environment and so on so we need some language to communicate okay? to put inside the agent those uh, language instruction so that uh, agent can do it so the language of planning Okay, for the problems is like this one. Okay, number one, the representation of planning problem. Okay? Uh, how do we represent? How do you represent okay, the planning problem? We should write a language uh, in some language to describe the problem, to define the problem, to then the solution of the problem. So, a representation of planning problem. Uh, so we do need states first of all okay we do need actions what's going on and what the agents are doing uh or will do for achieving goals okay so we do need uh the goals we do need the action and the state everything okay? for the planning and we need okay to do it okay, using some language so the representation of state okay, number one it is uh, actually the same thing okay? the state action goal state action goal on this state okay? so uh, in the representation of the state okay the planners okay the, the planners uh, decompose okay divide into separate pieces okay decompose meaning you know, dividing in small pieces the problem so the planner decomposes the word into logical conditions. Okay, so it divides okay uh, each component of the planning. Okay? The planner decomposes the word, okay, the environment, okay, or uh, the planning, okay, and uh, states. Okay, uh, actually the word is for the state itself. It is the same thing. So the uh, planner decomposes the states okay, in logical conditions. And represent okay, or present okay, a state as conjunction of positive letters. So remember, we studied about the logic and all these okay, uh, representation of state in terms of language. Okay, remember alpha, beta, gamma statements. So all these are now we are the language of the okay, planning problems. Okay, so okay, let's move on. So example for first order literal okay, is like this one. So at plane one, okay, let's say uh, there's some robots or there's some 
uh, weapon cleaner, or you can think any kind of agent, okay? A plain one. Uh, or you can think, uh, this is the problem actually about the agent, like a plane, a plane table, okay? So uh, we have two distinct uh, locations. Location one is Melbourne, and other one is Sydney. So these are different states, you can think like this. And we are moving, okay? Uh, from one state to another one. So at plane one, there's some plane uh, at Melbourne, okay? at plane one, Melbourne, and it's ending together. So these two are connected by end. Okay? So this means, okay, they are happening together. And, and means they are happening together. So at plane two, okay, which is at Sydney. Uh, so these are the two, okay? state but they are connected together using the and operator remember this one so at plane one okay melbourne and at plane two sydney okay uh, this is called first order letters okay so uh okay let's move on okay and representation of goal will be in this case uh uh let's say definition actually first okay. representation of goal is a goal is partially specified state okay so a goal is partially specified state or represented as conjunction okay, of positive ground literals is called representation of goals so example is here okay for example uh, let's say some group uh, uh, we say rich okay so rich or famous or miserable okay? satisfies the goal of the rich or famous uh, sorry not or it is n uh, sorry for mistake this is n okay? so rich and famous okay and miserable means uh we can conclude that it is simply rich and famous so let's say someone is rich and famous and miserable so we can think it as Rich and famous. It's simply we can conclude from here that uh, he's rich and famous. That's all. So uh, an agent, okay, let's say someone is rich, agent is rich, famous, miserable. Then it can be considered uh, satisfies the goal. Okay, it can satisfy the target goal, rich and famous. Okay? So this is a representation of okay, knowledge, or we can think it's a representation of the goal. Okay? Uh, so representation of goal is like this one. This is an example. That's one. So okay, let's look at the last one. Action. Representation of action. In this one, an action is classified in terms of goals before it can be executed. So. Uh, there should be some precondition, prior condition, the condition that uh, that is there before the action. You can think like that. So an action is specified. Okay? An action is specified in terms of preconditions uh, that must hold before okay? it could be executed. Before the uh, execution of action, there should be some condition. So that is called precondition. So uh an action is specified okay the representation of action is such as an action is specified in terms of precondition that must go before okay not after uh if after before the agent can be uh i mean uh, okay is environment can be executed by the agent some action okay so action is done to execute the uh, some kind of okay uh, goal or target okay to find the goal and uh, the effects that ensure okay, uh, ensue okay? so the effects that ensue when it is executed so the effects and okay uh, action are connected together because uh, the condition is there the action is done uh, okay, by deliberation by consideration and thereafter the execution of the action action is done uh, the effect is also observed. Okay? 
So, okay, let's see an example, then it will be more clear. An action for okay, flying, okay, from using a plane from one location to another one, okay. So, uh, this is a simple, okay, uh, logical, okay, uh, you know, I mean, algorithm, that's all. So, uh, action, let's say we have action and we have the fly, okay? this, this is the input, fly, uh, P from two, okay. So these two are okay from and two are destinations, okay, uh, locations actually, and P okay is another. Okay? Uh, you can think it as variable or you can think it as state. Okay, so P is flying from uh, let's say A to B, okay? for example. So what are the okay? Let's say so you can take is here this one so at p okay the initial state okay from and using the plane p okay you can ah, so this is plane actually i should say okay that's all so uh the plane p okay you know using plane p okay using plane p uh agent move from p okay uh move using the p okay? and airport we should also know the location airport okay? and to the airport so you see i am a, i am ending or each and every events for example at p okay from okay and plane p and airport and okay airport to okay? from airport to airport you can think like this from airport to airport uh, uh, using plane P, okay, uh, from P, okay, yes, you can think like this. So everything is together. If you remove any of them, let's say, then the action cannot be done. Okay? So that's why we combine together using ending operation and. So it each and every component is, is important and mandatory, compulsory, okay, to finish up this action. So the effect will be like this. So at P from and at P2. So 2P from P to P. So from the plane, okay, at certain location, let's say uh, location A to uh, P, okay, using the plane P at another location B. Okay? So you can think simply like this, using P plane, okay, like this one, uh, I think the locations here is like this one. Remember, here these two are locations, okay? So, so uh, we can move, uh, you can think anyone, yes, okay? state one to state two or location and using the plane B, okay? We have action like this one, okay? So, this is all about this one. So, expressiveness, number one and extensions, okay, the other term. So we can represent all these things, okay, together using the Stanford Research Institute Problem Solver. Okay? So what is this? Uh, usually we call it, it as strips, okay, and it is an automated banner, okay, which is used to automate. Uh, we put inside some values, okay, uh, stage, uh, actions and all and so on and it will come out with some good result good planning okay what uh, agent should do okay? in the best way so that's why it's called automated planner so it is an automated planner uh, developed by Richard uh, Hickey okay and Neil Nelson uh, okay so what is uh, inside the the various planning okay different planning uh, formalism, which is used okay, uh, systematized way okay, with a standard syntax. So all these are used okay. And these are uh, standard. There should be uh, a way of putting inside the values okay, inputs, standard syntax, or okay? uh, also uh, formalism and systematic systematized systematic okay? uh, system so all these are the components of planning 
And such planning is called planning domination language. So this is a planning domain definition language, PDDM. So this is a, this is a framework. You can think like this, it is a framework. So inside this framework, okay, P, D, D, M. Inside this framework, we must have, uh, okay, we, why it is used? It is used for planning. How? Using uh, inputs like formalism, okay, or some kind of formation of the problem, okay. Then we have a systematic way of approaches, okay, to solve the problem. And there should be a standard, okay, syntax. So altogether, it is a complete set, which is inside this framework, which is called planning domain definition language. That's all. Okay? So the various planning formalisms, okay, uh, which is used uh, inside the, this kind of the system, okay, uh, which is systemized, systemized within a standard syntax. Okay? Uh, this is known as planning domain definition language. That's all. Okay, uh, the next thing is, uh, this is an, an example, okay? air cargo transport. So here we have a okay, uh, transportation okay, problem. The problem okay, can be defined by three actions, load, unload, and drive. Okay? So cargo, for the air cargo, uh, loading the, uh, some items and unloading to the destination location, okay? all this. So load, okay. Load uh, C1, P1, J1. Okay? So what is this? C1 is uh, let's say the cargo name one, cargo one. Okay. Uh, uh, P1, okay. Plane one using some kind of airline service. Okay. So cargo C1, the item, and the plane service, and J Jazan is the starting location. So we load the item from plane one to the cargo one from Jazan. Okay? And it will fly. Thereafter it will fly. After loading it will fly uh, P1, okay, plane one using the same okay, plane and uh, also to from Jazan uh, to Riyadh, okay, let's say. Then it will unload to Riyadh, okay, using plane one and cargo one, the same thing. Okay? Oh, Okay, uh, this is another one. Load C2, cargo 2, plane 2, and R from Riyadh. Okay, let's say it is reversed from Riyadh uh, uh, to Jazan. It should be actually J is missing. Okay? That's okay. So uh, fly okay, from P2. Okay, then it's plane 2, the same one, from Riyadh to Jazan. Unload here, C2. Okay. Cargo two, plane two, two just that. That's all. Okay. So these are two examples. Oh, okay. Uh, the partial order planning. Okay. So in the partial okay, order planning, uh, forward and backward state space search okay, are uh, particular form of totally ordered, okay, totally ordered plane okay, search. So uh, plan search too. So uh, the forward and backward state space set, okay, set, uh, are the main okay, form of totally ordered plan set, this one. Okay. They explore only, okay, they explore only strictly, okay, only strictly linear sequences. Okay. Linear sequences, it is not exponential. Just, uh, Okay, linear, okay, linear sequences of action. So uh, it can be considered as, uh, if I show you mathematically, it will be just a second. A uh, linear sequence means linearly, like this one. So it is, let's say the action is here, or maybe the action is here. Okay, let me remove this. So action is there, and also with time, okay. And uh, actions are done linearly, you can think like this, okay? not exponentially. So, uh, linear sequences of action, okay? one by one, okay, linear, and 
uh, not very fast okay just smooth so okay i will show you like that's okay so they explore one strictly okay only uh, they explore only strictly linear sequences of action directly connected to the goal to the start hit or the goal so uh okay rather than giving you mathematically i can show you in diagram like a phone let's say the state one is here and the state two is here okay and uh they slow okay only strictly linear sequence of action so let's say some action is done to move from one state to end the one and they are the next uh, they are connected to the okay, start or go okay so action together to the start or the goal itself okay to finish up the process that's all so general strategy to okay, the general strategy to delay of delaying such kind of choice okay to delay a choice okay during search is called least com commitment strategy okay? least commitment strategy means the minimum okay commitment agreement strategy so the minimum okay uh, commitment agreement uh, strategy is a general strategy of delaying a choice okay that okay uh, let's wait for a moment we will see okay uh, what we need to do okay next next and next okay like this way so uh, this is a uh, very handy and very okay uh, it takes time but also very convenient way okay, for the kind of uh, planning so least commitment okay least commitment is useful concept for analyzing when decisions okay should be made in any set problem so when decision uh, is needed to be made in uh, any such problem then we use i think such kind of least commitment the minimum okay, agreement then we move on and then we commit some other thing small step okay, then we commit another one that's all so by doing so we are moving but slowly actually but not okay uh so rapidly but of course we are moving smoothly that's better okay? so least commitment is a useful concept for analyzing when decisions should be made step by you know, by step in any such problem so this is a convenient way a useful way that's why we say as useful concept that's all so the partial order planning is uh, has examples like this one so uh, of putting on a pair of shoes okay so now we have examples of how to put on okay a pair of shoes yeah. so first okay the goal is uh, right shoe on and left shoe on okay so uh, we put okay the right shoe uh, on we put on the right shoe and the left shoe okay? like this so this is our goal we want to put on both shoes right the left one and the right one so we initialize okay first okay we think about that okay let's put on our shoes okay? so the action is first we take the right shoe okay? uh, Precondition is right sock on. So we don't put on the shoe until we have a uh, right sock. Okay. So we put uh, we put the sock first. Okay. Let's say the sock first, and then we put the shoe. Okay. It is not like we put first the shoes and then sock. Okay. Then it will be reversed, right? So we first take the shoe right on. Okay. Sock. Then we put the shoe. Okay. Like this one. It is not reversed. Okay, so so that's why it is called precondition. So the precondition is we must have right sock on, and the effect is we will get the right shoe in our foot. Okay, and the next one is action. So the action okay for the right sock. Okay, so the effect will be right sock on. Okay. Okay, the next action is left shoe. Okay, the precondition is left sock on. Okay, so we must have socks 
on the left okay leg on okay then we can uh, wear the left shoes okay that's okay so action okay uh, left sock okay? and the effect will be left sock so all these are just example very simple as you can and the main idea is we are going to see precondition that uh, before putting on the shoes wearing the shoes we must have socks okay so okay that's all about the partial okay or the planning is okay any planning and problem so any planning and problem that can be placed okay uh, that can place two actions into a plan without uh, specifying without uh, naming without identifying without uh, telling okay? which comes first okay is called partial order plan okay so partial order plan is a planning algorithm okay uh, in which okay and, uh, two without are there without any without okay, without any okay understanding or knowledge which will come first okay so such kind of okay uh, planning algorithms are used in our AI. Yes. So the solution is represented as a graph of action. Okay, this is the main thing. So um, that's not by the sequence. The next thing is dummy actions. Okay, dummy means uh, not real. It's a fake. Okay, actions. So dummy actions called okay start and finish. That's all which mark the beginning and the end of the plan it is very clear every step of a plan okay, is an action so every step is an action the partial order solution this one the solution partial order solution corresponds to six possible okay it corresponds to six possible okay? total order plan okay? this one total order plan so each of these is called linearization. And a set of action, okay? Let's say the agent do one action, then another one, then the third one. So such kind of set of action that make up the steps of the plan, okay? Uh, like this, make up the make up the steps of the plan, okay? So the set of action that make up the steps of the plan, uh, the empty plan okay the empty plan con consists of okay it takes just the start and finish okay so we are talking about actually the dummy one okay uh, what we say as a, a dummy okay just dummy we are talking about this dummy at this moment okay okay so let's go to the next one okay So, uh, okay, this is the, the empty plan. The empty plan consists just of start and finish. Okay, let's move to the next one. So, okay, this is POP. What is it? Partial order plan. Okay. So, this is partial order plan. So, in this one, this is an example, and it's linearization. Uh, as you can see now, uh, now I got the exact picture, okay? Linear, linearity, okay? As you can see, it is linear, moving in one way, okay? Uh, it is not exponential, okay? In linearly from one to the another one to another one, it's all, okay? Like this way. So what does it mean? It is linear. This means it is linear. Okay, so in the partial, okay? Total order plan. Okay, we are talking about this one. But before that, let's move to the partial order plan. So in the partial order plan, we start okay, from one state, let's say. Uh, and this is an example of the same thing. Okay, wearing the socks and the shoes. Okay, so start with the left sock. Okay, and the precondition is we must have, okay, uh, sock, okay, this one, left sock, left sock on, okay. And then we can wear the left shoe. Okay. So up to here, 
And uh, the other one okay, is like this, right saw, then right saw on, then right two, and we finish. So finally, we have left two and right two on, and that's all for finishing point, okay? Uh, in the same way, I think we can represent uh, total order plan, like the start. Okay? So we have linear order, okay? Means many or many processes are running at the same time in one okay direction in the same, in the same okay linear way. So uh, this is called actually the parallel process, right? But uh, the main idea is let's say we have a process, uh, I mean state starting uh, right saw, okay? then left saw, then the right shoe, then the left shoe, and finish. In the same way. Uh, for another one, start, right saw, left saw, okay, and left shoe, and right shoe. That's all, finished. So we are, okay, on this first thing for each and every okay, thing at the same time. Linearly, like this. So the planning graphs are, again, okay, the graph which are mostly related with the planning. So uh, the main idea is like this. Number one, a planning graph okay it consists of a sequence of levels that corresponds to time tab okay, in the plan. So uh, it is a sequence of levels, different levels, okay, which is equivalent to, which is corresponding to okay, the, the time okay flow, the time steps in the plan. So levels or states as you know okay are the same thing so level zero is the initial state okay level one will be the next state and so on so we are just planning okay on the graph and we have already okay done some of the examples not exactly the same one but a similar one okay in the path finding one so we can think it as a graph consisting of different state okay number one uh, and having a number of states and from uh, level zero okay moving to the level one to the level two and so on okay so uh, these are okay all okay uh, the planning okay which is represented in the graph that's all okay so the plan graphs okay is a sequence of levels different states that corresponds to time steps okay in the plan so by the time okay uh, let's say in the time zero we were in the zero state. Then we are moving to the next step, uh, state one, okay, level level one, with the time, let's say after one hour or maybe after five minutes, okay, all these things. Okay, so the next thing is in the plan graphs, okay, uh, they works only, okay, or they works only or propositional, okay, planning problem. So mainly, okay, they works only or sometimes more for propositional planning problem. So we, you will see examples later. That's okay. So ones with no variable. So the idea is, okay, those with no variable. This is important. No variable. Okay. So the planning graph, okay, works only with propositional planning problem. Uh, the problem with no variable. So any problem with no variable, we can deal with such kind of plan graph. So let's see what does it look like in algorithm. Okay. So graph planning algorithm. Okay, this one. So here we are defining a function, function graph plan, and we are taking inside the problem. Okay, as input, and we will return solution or some failure. So uh, this kind of okay approach using algorithm will give you either solution okay or failure so there are both possibilities exist together so you, you will not surely get a solution always there's chances of failure as well in this kind of okay, approach so here okay as you can see uh, we initiated our graph okay with the initial Okay, planning and graph method. So having putting inside the problem, okay, as input, okay, as parameter or 
argument. And here, okay, we are going for initialization of the graph. And our target is, okay, the goal, okay, the goal. So we are, okay, getting in the problem, okay, using, inside, using the problem, we are assigning, okay, some goal, and goal will be the output, okay. So, okay, uh, so uh, these are two, okay, different possibilities. Uh, and before that, okay, uh, I mean, solution and failure, and uh, uh, you can think like this method or, okay, uh, just uh, another term for initialization. Uh, it's better you should think it as initialization of graph and the goal. Okay, and it, making a definition for the graph and goal. Okay, okay. So that's all. Now we will start a loop. In the loop, okay, we will go for the condition. The condition is this one that if the goals all non mutex in in the okay in the last level of graph okay so in the last level of graph okay uh, we are going for one by one uh, you can think it as i or x okay goes so if the goals are non mutex in inside the uh, you can think it as a list or anything as you like in terms of programming okay so if the condition is if goes all okay non mutex inside the last level of graph then okay do this one like extract solution so extract solution uh, it consists of graph goals and length of the graph and these are all putting inside that solution okay so uh, we should make a logic to get the solution using all these three okay there uh, also okay inside so this is a nested if function nested it if okay this is the outer if and this is the inner if okay so uh, something like this okay so if uh, there's another condition if this is okay if this condition is true it will move to here okay and also it will move to the next line it will not escape this line okay it will always okay execute this line so if solution is not equal to failure okay if the solution is not equal to failure the conditions like this let's say if the solution is equal to failure then we will escape okay this this if function that's okay uh, i mean it will go to the next one okay not this one actually i should say if the condition fails, okay, then the control will move to the next line, this one, okay. Otherwise, it will fill up, okay, the return for this one. So if solution is not equal to failure, then it will return solution, okay. So there will be solution. If solution is not failure, this means there's some solution, right? Because it is not solution is equal to failure. If solution is equal to failure, this means we don't have any solution so in that case okay the program will not give any solution okay. otherwise okay if the condition is true like solution is not equal to failure then uh, it will return solution uh, otherwise if there is no solution then it will go for no solution possible okay and the graph taking inside the graph and it will say that no solution possible and then return failure that's all Okay, giving the message that we failed, we didn't find any solution. So this is all about this one. So okay, the graph. Okay, uh, and uh, thereafter, okay, this line will run. Okay, uh, as a combination of this. Okay, if function, if uh, uh, conditional statement, right? So the graph is made from expand graph okay so we are now expanding graph one by one okay so connecting together the next next and next state okay all these things so okay uh expand graph using the graph existing graph and the problem okay and the process will be repeated not just one time it will be repeated several times okay like this because it, it is under the loop okay like this until we arrive at the goal target okay that's all
that's all. So this is very simple, okay, yeah, algorithm. So here, okay, as you can see, planning methods, okay. So we have, okay, a number of planning methods, okay, and we will discuss what they are. Okay? So the first one is sensorless planning. Means, can you guess what could it be? Sensorless means there is no sensor. Okay, uh, okay, I will tell you that. So the sensorless planning. Okay, uh, conformation. Okay, uh, conformate planning. Okay, so conformant planning is okay uh, exactly the sensor planning, sensor planning, or uh, conformant planning. The sensorless planning. Okay, algorithm must ensure. So it must ensure what ensure that the plan achieves the goal so this is okay the uh, insurance that uh, this is the guarantee okay of this algorithm to succeed that if the we are applying sensorless planning algorithm then it must return some goal okay plan okay must achieve some goal in all possible circumstances okay regardless of the true initial without any consideration for the initial state okay and the actual actions outcome that are done by the agents inside during the process so this is the okay main idea so okay uh, the next one is conditional planning this one so contingency okay contingency planning uh, contingency is something like you can think as a uh, you can plan A and then uh, it doesn't it didn't work you can go for the plan B okay so uh, you can think it as a uh, emergency plan okay? so plan A and then emergency plan plan B okay contingency so contingency planning okay conditional planning the agent plans in this one What, what does it mean? Which one? I don't understand. Are you talking about sensorless planning or conditional planning? Okay, let's see what, what does it mean conditional planning okay if you are talking about that one so the agent okay plans first in this one the agent okay, plans first and then execute the plan that was produced okay so in this conditional planning okay uh, the agent plans first and then executes the plan okay the same plan okay that is planned already so execution of plan will be done later and uh, that was produced the same thing the agent finds out okay which so agent finds out which part of the plan to execute so this is also important that the agent okay will find uh, which part of the plan okay so which part of the plan to be executed okay by including here okay including sensing action so here we need some kind of sensor uh, sensing action in the plan to test for appropriate okay, condition so now we are okay in the process of okay, understanding about the condition planning so here okay all the time uh, the agent uh, will try to find out okay uh, which plan that he need to execute by uh, sensing okay uh, by sensing the actions and by doing so in, in the plan, it will also test okay, for the most okay, appropriate, okay, the best condition. So it will always try to find out okay, the best condition, best possible condition to execute okay, such kind of plan. So this is all about conditional planning. So this is the meaning of conditional planning. The next is execution monitoring and replanning. This one. So execution monitoring and replanning means 
in this approach, okay, the agent can use, it can use, okay, any of the preceding techniques, earlier techniques. Preceding means earlier, these two, okay, or preceding techniques to construct a plan. So they can use any of the, okay, techniques to con construct a plan. Uh, execution monitoring, okay, is done to judge, okay, to identify, to justify whether, okay, the plan has provision for actual current situation. So it, uh, it will also justify or judge, okay, whether the plan, existing plan, okay, has uh, any provision, any kind of, okay, right for actual current situation, uh, existing situation, or, okay, or, very important, need to be revised. So if there's uh, no such kind of provision, okay, uh, then it will go to the revision section. It will revise, it will think again, and do the next action. So it is not certain that it will do one action at one time. It is, the process can be revised, okay? And by revision, okay, it will go for next action. So replanning is another process within that one. Why? Because revision is there. So uh, it is not sure that whatever has been planned already, it will not be, okay? Uh, it will be always executed, okay? Uh, it could be replanned again because the possibility of revision is there, okay? So replanning occurs when something goes wrong. The same idea, okay? In the continuous planning, this one, okay? A continuous planner is designed to persist, okay? This one, in this planning, continuous planning. Uh, a continuous planner is designed to persist over lifetime. So it is designed to persist over a very, over a very long time, lifetime. It can handle, okay, unexpected circumstances. So let's say there's some kind of uh, uh, change, okay, that happens suddenly. So it can handle, so it is very robust in, the, in that sense that it can handle unexpected circumstances that happen suddenly, okay? So it can face those situations as well in the environment. Uh, even if these okay, occur while the agent is in the middle of construction a plan, okay? In the middle of constructing a plan. So uh, it can handle those situations even if, okay, uh, these unexpected circumstances, okay, occur uh, during, okay, the agent, uh, during the uh, agent which is involved at that time in some kind of other plan, constructing some plan, okay? So while the agent is busy in the middle of, in the mid of, okay, constructing a plan. So it can uh, think about that, okay, unexpected circumstances and handle those, okay? So it is a kind of, okay, you can think as a tolerant, okay, tolerancy of the, those, okay, agents. So the planning is done because of the uh, tolerant nature of the agent in this case. Okay, uh, so that's all for today. I think this is all, this is the last slide. That's it.